Hello, welcome to The Blush Report. In this video, we're talking about how to make friends, top tips for obtaining friendships. <laughs> so hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, turn on your bell notifications. And if you're new here, I'm Winston Mayo. This is The Blush Report, and let's get to the show. Welcome to The Blessing Report, the channel for comedy and conviction, entertainment, edification. I'm Winston Mayo, the regular Christian guy, and we have a new video that's really cool, and this video is how to make friends top 10 tips for obtaining um, friendships. So I'm just giving like advice because a lot of us, um, it's hard to find like good godly friends. And so in this is like, hey, how can I get them? How can I sustain um, relationships? And how can I um, have like fruitfulness in my platonic relationship, relationships, women to women, men to men, and then even women to men, All right? So I guess like my top tip um, is going to be friendliness, which is ironic, but um, there is no way that you can obtain um, friends unless you extend yourself. So the verse I have here is Proverbs 18:24. A man that has friends must show himself friendly. There's a friend that sticketh closer than a brother. If you want friends, you have to show yourself friendly and you have to have an ability to communicate. And so um, what we find here is that a lot of people think that the church is like cold. And I want to take it from both perspectives. Yes, the church is cold. No, the church is not cold. So if the church um, is cold and um, you are part of the church body, you need to be able to extend yourself and be hospitable and reach out to new people, right? But if I'm saying no, the church is not cold, um, where are you providing opportunities for people to engage with you in friendship, in relationship, and um, extend themselves uh, for a conversation. And so my top tip is like, you need to talk. And um, very basic like elementary and like middle school principles, like grade school principles, you have to be like, hey, my name is Winston, what is your name? Um, do that, I know that um, church doesn't provide a lot of opportunity for that, but um, really being plugged in um, really helps that. So number one, um, talk. Um, ask people like their name is really good. Um, ask people for their numbers because a lot of people, um, if you want friendships, you really have to be vulnerable. A lot of people don't want to be vulnerable. Um, they're like, man, if I ask for like this dude's number, um, I just want to play basketball with him. He might say no uh, or something like that. Um, people don't want to be put in awkward situations. But no, before anyone is a friend, they are a stranger. And so um, you have to uh, put yourself out there and just be like, hey, uh, what's your name? Oh, hey, Michael, I, I just want some Christian friends. Uh, is it cool that we link up? Like something like that. Um, and also um, show yourself friendly. Uh, so smile, a lot of people do not smile. A smile is a great conversation starter. And even just like names or just like shirts, like you see someone with a school uh, a college shirt on or something, a sports hat on, ask about it. Um, use anything to um, create conversation, but just know talking is going to be your number one how to obtain friends. All right, so I guess um, number two, um, go to Christian events. Christian events are um, really great for making friends. And what I find is um, church is a pretty hard place to talk because like people are singing, people are praying and there's preaching. It's a lot of sitting down and not talking. And a lot of people um, leave or whatever. So go to Christian events um, because at a basis, like, a flat line, um, not everyone is going to a Christian rap concert, going to a gospel concert, going to a Christian comedy show. So minimum, there is a faith-based distinction. 
um, that you can build relationship on because y'all have similar interests. But no, um, just because people are Christian doesn't mean that um, they are made to be your friend. Um, a lot of people are just like, oh my gosh, it's so hard making friends. Um, y'all just might have different personality types. So give grace and patience and time for that. It's just like, man, you're an early bird. I'm a, I don't know, uh, a night owl. We, we just don't get along. And, Minimal. I know the blood of Christ makes us family, but you have different interests. If I'm not interested in gospel music, you really like orchestra music, relate um, somewhere else. So there's a thing called um, intersectionality, where you can relate to people um, on different things. I may not be able to relate in like music choice, but we can both relate because we're both fathers. We are both um, cheerleaders, like something else. So just find those common grounds. But um, go to those Christian events because what you're gonna find is that um, when you're there, if you spark up conversation, that's why I said number one is talking. Y'all are both standing in line. Be like, hey, um, uh, my name is Winston. Um, how long have you were at a Jobby Chris comedy concert um, show? It's like, hey, how long have you been following Jobby Chris? Oh, I've been following him for five years. I really like his da 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 da. Conversations gonna uh, make for this, but. Um, where like the settings can set the atmosphere for conversations. So go to Christian events, um, little single ministries, little youth events, little Christian mixers or something. Um, and don't limit uh, Christian friendships to your church because it's like, man, you might have like whack people at your church. <laughs> um, so um, be okay with that. Um, number three, it says, um, Hebrews 13 two, be not uh, forgetful to entertain strangers for therefore some have entertained um, angels unaware. So what it's saying is like, yo, be hospitable. Um, like open up your home and throwing events. If, like a lot of people be like, oh, I can't go to Christian events because they don't really throw it. You can throw your own events, like meet in common places. Um, like once you extend yourself and just be like, hey, you can call up a bunch of people because a lot of people have like very surface level friendships, so there's not much depth. So um, if you are finding that, oh, I am getting people's numbers, um, but we don't hang out, create opportunities for you to hang out. Go to the movies, go bowling, go skating. Um, don't go to the club. <laughs> um, go to a lot of these um, lock-ins or puzzles or mazes or um, Christmas light shows, something. Um, have a party at your own house, I don't know. But um, be hospitable. Cause like I said, everyone's a stranger before they're a friend. So um, you have to engage as a friend, even though um, y'all might not be friends. Be vulnerable, extend yourself, be open, and um, you'll find more friends, all right? And then another thing people find in the church, the people say the church is clicky, all right? Um, but we're going to take this twofold. The church is clicky and the church is not clicky. All right? So if we're saying, yes, the church is clicky, if you are part of the church, you have to acknowledge this and be able to extend yourself to new people because people don't know people. So if they're a first time visitor, be like, hey, this is Winston. I'm Winston. Here's my friend James. This is my friend Eric. This is my friend blah, 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 blah. And so um, invite people into your life. All right. And then if you're from the standpoint, no, nah, the church isn't clicky. Uh, what I find is that um, we're not purposefully clicky. Um, like you go to church, you know your friends, you talk to your friends. And so if we are not intentional, like we're not trying to be like rude or whatever, we're just um, be like, yo, I know them. So I'm gonna go talk to them. Um, we can um, neglect people who are longing for friendship because like everyone doesn't talk. And I know I talk and so, um, I'm a very big advocate for, yo, know, making sure that people aren't sitting alone. And so um, we as like, if you're like really engaged, you're a people person, um, help those people who are not people people, uh, <laughs> um, who are not personable. Um, they're friendly, they're just not outgoing. So help them because like one of my friends, um, he's really quiet and he said, as like a quiet dude, um, he 
really wants to talk to people and he said he loves outgoing people because they create opportunity for him to engage with people and then once he's in like he opens up and so a lot of people they just want that excuse to talk so if you spark conversation you are actually going in your freedom is going to open up freedom for others so really extend yourself and um, be hospitable be open and engage with strangers because you don't know who um, people are even Jesus says like what you do to the least of these you have done to me so to neglect somebody is to neglect God himself um, so don't be neglecting God be friendly everybody be friendly and talk Luke 6 12 and this is Jesus and it came to pass in those days that he went Jesus out into a mountain to pray and continued all night in prayer to God and when it was day he called unto him his disciples and then he chose the 12 whom he named the apostles all right and so um, why this is important is that I do not want to neglect the power of praying for friends and relationships so a lot of people um, we do a lot of things like really naturally, really fleshly, and ourselves really carnally and worldly. Like, I just need a network, I just need to go to a concert, I need to go to a club, and then I'll make friends. But the power of prayer and divine connection cannot be underestimated. Like, really pray because we really let people go in and out of our lives. People are, um, are legit sons of Satan's and distractions and terrible people that will hinder your walk. And we can't just let um, people into our lives so casually and not um, so purposelessly and without assignment. Like, I don't know if you're a lifelong friend, you might be the devil himself. And so um, really pray about it. Like, pray about like people's purpose, but also pray for friends. Be, like, be real with God, be like, Lord, Lord, I have no friends right now. Um, please help me to have friends because you talk about the importance of community, there's protection in a great fold of witnesses, there's wisdom, and so um, friendship and relationship, um, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit is in relationship with himself, so we need to be with relationship with our corporate body as well. And so God's not going to neglect you, like we're not made as human beings to be isolated creatures. Um, so really pray about it and pray for divine connections and you're, you're going to find that it's going to be easier and God's um, really going to send people in across your path so when people are coming across your path and um, they are extending yourself and inviting you over like um, really take the opportunity to show yourself friendly all right and then um, the last two we have is be a better steward over your friends. I, I really want to be real about this. A lot of us really um, had godly friendship, had good friendship, and we neglected it. Either there was an offense, there was a falling out, or um, there was a lack of intentionality, and so there was a drifting and a separation. So really um, be intentional with stewarding people's hearts well, um, not doing wrong, and also apologizing and having forgiveness. Because um, a lot of people, they would want to reconcile with you, but um, you haven't showed yourself um, to be like willing. You know, like, yo, I would apologize, but I don't know how they will receive me. So make sure that you are gracious with apologies and reconciliation, um, but also um, not doing people dirty. Like a lot of people do people dirty in the world, in the church, and so. Um, there should be some type of distinguishing factor that differentiates us from just regular worldly relationships. We have worldly relationships that are better than like our godly relationships, which is weird. And that means that the foundation or the character and spiritual maturity of the individuals in church needs to be higher, needs to be more Christ-like, needs to be more sacrificial, needs to be more submitted and selfless. I said like be very intentional with your relationships. Don't let people just casually enter and exit your life because that is damaging um, to a degree. Um, but also be intentional about your ungodly relationships, right? Because I have friends that um, we don't really see eye to eye 
for theology and ideology and world perspective, but I'm still friendly with them. I'm not as close to like our, our, my godly friends, but we still friends. And so I have dudes like from college, they like got saved, like girls from college, they got saved. And like, yo, we're like good friends post-college. And it's like, yo, if I would close that door, like block them, leave their number, or didn't have at least casual conversation. I don't talk to them every day or even monthly, but I talk to them at least quarterly, like every three months, be like checking in on their livelihood and how they are. And because I do extend that, um, they are um, open when they do get saved. So a lot of us, um, we get saved and we cut everybody off. And God doesn't cut us off. I don't mean you have to be close with everybody. Everyone's made to be your friend. But I'm saying at least have the door of communication when it comes to Jesus to be open. Even if my friends aren't godly, um, they at least know like, yo, Winston does have a relationship with God. If I have a question, I can go to him. So I think that same um, extension needs to be worldwide with all of us Christians that uh, people know at minimum that we're open um, to this. So that's my like last tip uh, when it comes to like how to make friends. So number one is to talk. Number two, be hospitable. Ooh, I forgot this and this is the most important one. Um, get plugged in into your church, um, be involved in the ministry. Cause a lot of us, we come to church and we leave and then uh, we be like, ah, I don't have no friends, the church is cold. We, don't have, we literally have no time for you to um, meet us. Like you leave and you, like, you go, but if you're plugged into a ministry, um, that does create familiarity uh, with people to uh, like make friends with you. And then I guess the last tip, and I'm glad to not forget these, um, be gracious. Um, and be patient with the process of making friends. Because a lot of us, um, we want to write off the church. We want to write off Christians. But we don't write off anybody um, in any other context, right? You have a bad experience at a restaurant. You still go back. We've all been to McDonald's when the ice cream machine is broken. We still go back and like check. We don't write off forever. We have a bad day at the gym. We still go back to the gym. We're like, oh, I had a bad day at the gym. I'm never going to gyms again. Uh, but a lot of us do that with church. You like, uh, I, I had a bad church ex experience. I'm never going to deal with Christians. I'm never going to deal with the church. You don't do that with your job. You had a bad day at your job. Like some of us been um, quitting. Um, on church, but we don't even quit our jobs and it's weird. <laughs> and so be spiritually mature, understand we're all human, we're all trying to figure this out. Some people are dirty, um, but people are dirty in the world too and you still go to the club, like that don't even make sense. So if you're so gracious and patient with the world, how are you not gracious and patient with the body? <laughs> and so those are my um, tips. So talk, be hospitable, be plugged into the church, pray, um, be intentional uh, with all of your relationships, and also be gracious and be patient. And um, that's my time. Um, if you found this video to be informative, um, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, turn on your bell notifications so you get all um, the new videos when they come out. And let me hear from you in the comment section below. Um, two questions. Um, what has been your experience with finding godly friends in uh, friendships? Is it hard? Is it um, easy? And two, um, which one of my tips are you going to take? Are you going to go to Christian um, comedy shows or gospel rap or um, gospel concerts or something like that? Which tips or are you going to extend yourself? Are you going to open your home? What are you going to do to be intentional with cultivating and nurturing friendships in your own life? All right. And remember that we have a set schedule now. And so we have new music Mondays um, with album reviews, music and single reviews. We have when Wisdom Wednesdays with Winston, I don't know, um, where we have more of these teaching videos. And number three, we have um, Funny Fridays. We have a new comedy video coming out um, if we don't have daily content. Remember to connect with us on social media platforms. So that's YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, um, at The Blessing Report on all um, those platforms. Remember everything important is in the description box below.
<laughs> and um, that's all the music, the Bible verses, everything important. Remember that this video has been sponsored by <laughs> my book, Searching for Land, on Amazon, all those book buying places, and my new release, release, The Science of Salvation, a manual for manipulating and manufacturing faith. So click the link in the description box below and just support the brother or give it for a gift. The holidays are coming, um, Christmas, so give gifts. And I really want to thank you for watching the video. Be a blessing to someone else who wants friends and share this video. And yeah, what's up? And uh, remember that God blesses people by using people to bless people. So how have you been a blessing today? Thanks for watching. Got me feeling like the man. Yeah. When I walk through it on 